Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of CrossCode. Last time we left off, we were hanging out in this new place, and we're trying to figure out what exactly is happening. So I, I think I'm supposed to go to the southern door right over here. No? Was that not the one? Uh, was it here and then the southern door? Yeah, that was it. Cool. So, what is this? What is this place? Purple water, this is strange. I roughly, roughly remember something along those lines from early content production. Anyway, this is definitely not the official playground. Do a bit of research about this place. Hi. Hello? Leah, you're here as well? They told me to meet up with another player, is that you? Let's see, man, this place is weird. Looks like we're stuck here, right? At least I can't seem to teleport away. Oh, I'm not even exactly sure how we ended up here. Any idea? Sha. Anyway, I guess we are supposed to start a party, so shall we? All right then. Schneider, join my party. There's a level difference between us, but I guess that's not important now. Next station will be the quest hub of this area. They want us both to show up there for a quest. It's right over there to the west. Well then, let's go. This is different. Schneider is here as well, how? Does that mean that regular players can in fact access this part? I've never heard of this area. There's no way this is an, this is official playground. Yeah, things are getting weird. So there, there wasn't anything else in here for me to check out, right? Like, I followed that because it told me to, but... Check all the other doors really quickly. Alright, well it's cool that we're getting to roll with Schneider. Old Dark Lord over here. Alright. That's different. And where are we going? You said to the left, but... I want to check out some of this other stuff too. Don't need to get the botanics of this area. I see a lot of treasures. Hi? Don't go up there, there's no point. Why? You're new here, right? This passage will be blocked for you. Nobody's certain what's beyond there anyway. Ooh. Hi. Ooh. Okay. Okay, well, you told me not to go up there, and I found out why. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that thing obliterated me. Don't get seen by that, I guess. Holy. Okay, can I not... I can't move these blocks. Okay, don't mess with that thing. Holy shit. There was like all kinds of things flying across the screen and... No, I'm gonna give it one more shot. That wasn't real damage. Notify area. Whoop. God, that hurts a lot. I was- I was doing damage to it. We're gonna- we're gonna- we're gonna not do that, though. Let's see, yeah, you want me to go up here and across that. I'm just trying to look around at all the things I can at the moment. I mean, they are- they do clearly have elements. That one's, like, definitely a lightning elemental thing. Okay, I'm kind of getting an idea for the layout of this place. So, let's go see what was down here, first and foremost. Since I can jump across here. You don't care? You're just you're just walking around this pole, huh? That's your life? Okay, have fun doing that. Was there a reason to get over here? Oh, I can jump on this. Which gets me over here. Interesting. And then this would allow me to get over here. Okay. I mean, I don't know if this is needed or not, but I'm gonna do it. It's always funny hearing Schneider talk, because I just know I'm butchering, like, basically everything. <laughs> All the people that actually know German that watch are always like, yeah, you super butcher German, and I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm uncultured and dumb. Let's see here. So, if I go up here... I can get past you this way, kind of. Uh-oh. Wait, I can actually use that to get past you. 
Yeah, because you have like a little... Interesting. Oh, this is what you were talking about by... Yeah, we don't know what's past there. I thought you were talking about the enemy that absolutely bops me. So, yeah, we can get up there, but there's no reason to go up there at the moment because our access is still denied, like they said. Okay. I like the music here. The music's quite cool. I still think I want to go over here and go up this series of things again because there was more... It was a different direction I could have went, right? Because that led over there. But... I guess, yeah, you know what? I guess there wasn't really anything else, was there? Never mind. Alright, let's just continue this way, like Schneider told us to, like, forever ago. Flowing. And the pipes. Where does it go? Uh, I don't know. Good question. Yep, there it is. That large building is right over there. Interesting. This kind of reminds me of, like, an idea from something in um, RuneScape, actually. Uh, in the early days of RuneScape, there was an area, I forget exactly what it was called, like the Void or something like that. And when you got banned, you just got sent to a, lo a location in-game that was just a completely dark void, and there was nothing to do, your character could log in, but you were completely limited to this area and could not leave. Um, and that's what happened to you when you're banned. It wasn't that you couldn't log into your account. You could still log in and message your friends and stuff. You were just locked into this area and effectively could not play the game. Um, and there's items still, at least in, uh, RuneScape called Discs of Returning, where your friends could come visit you in the banned void, but they needed a Disc of Returning to get out. And it kind of reminds me of that concept, like, is this a place they just send, like, players, you know, that are like banned or did something that they didn't like or it's like a holdover from an early thing in the game where you can send people because there's other players here which is the weird part i'll take the fish and cook it up in the jelly for two hours add the sesame season with pepper and oregano what happens then add lemon juice add the pineapple stir fry for 20 minutes <laughs> cover in breadcrumbs fry another 30. wrap it with two layers of cheese deep fry for 15. no way add water and bring it to a boil for two hours or until it's soft mix it all up in the blender and let it cool for an hour that's how you make the jelly what so good. I'll take the fish and cook it up in the jelly for two hours. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'm wondering if this is like just where they sent like problematic players that they didn't want to deal with or they deemed it did not fit their standards or something, you know? Players that they want to get out of the way, basically. You look new here. Hi. Welcome to this small little hellhole. Interesting. Yeah, nobody really gives me much to go on. Don't go up there, they'll punch you. Uh... Talking about them? Okay, yeah, well, I've seen that they, they punched me hard. Okay, well, let's go into the building here. Hi. Hunter's Bolt, Sunset Claw, Red Bandana... Will you buy anything, Schneider? I guess this equipment's all really low level for you, so there'd be no point in you doing that. Um, are any of these things any good? I'm guessing tofu cracker and veggie wraps are just better. Um, I wanted to see what the veggie wraps actually did. There we go. Okay. The ramming shell, shin kickers. Yeah, there's not really much I want here. Thanks though, trade area. Okay, so let's go to the Seeker Hub and get a quest, I guess. It's the quest hub. Got a holographic projector up there, just like in Rookie Harbor. Hi. Recruits, welcome to Operation Trackwalker, Subdivision Project Red. Goal is to explore and investigate the Vermilion Wastelands and find their connection to the track. Your first task is to inspect the Southern Trial Building. It's located in the River Delta region to the south. To gain access to the building, you need to locate and activate these devices in the same area. That is all. Good luck and be careful. Interesting. Acquire access and inspect the first trial building in the Southern region. That was brief. How? Oh, indeed. 
How's this connect to the rest of the lore? What even is Project Red? Wonder if Lynn would know anything about this. Bad I can't seem to contact her, or anybody else for that matter. Tja. I'll know what else to do, so let's just try and solve that quest, alright? Alright, where? If I look at the world map, okay, so we're over here, which makes sense. This looks like a vermilion wasteland. So it is actually in the world. It just seems like, yeah, it's a spot that most players can't go to. You know, you can see the world map and see that the world's bigger, but that area hasn't been added in DLC yet, kind of a zone. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright. Well then, I guess let's uh, continue. Uh oh. Are you gonna punch me? No? Okay, we're good. We're cool. Hello, you can purchase consumables. Uh, I do need more of these. Yeah, let's just, let's just get a bunch of those, why don't we? 51 high sandwiches? Yeah, I'll check out. <laughs> I do need, I do need those. More of those. I've been running out. Equipment, these are just baby equipment pieces. Alright, out of here. Okay. Hello. I believe we're stuck in here with nothing to do. Yeah. Should we just go out and grind a bit? No, I don't feel like it. Hmm. Yeah, this is an interesting idea and everything. What I've got going on right now. The idea that all these people are kind of just stuck in here like us. And you specifically said you had nothing to do, which, you know, probably means you can't, like, leave the other people. I'm wondering if it's just your avatars that are stuck here, or if, like, you can't even get out of the game. I imagine you have to be able to get out of the game, so it's probably just your avatars are stuck here and you don't understand why. So it really is like the, uh, the, like, void in RuneScape that I talked about. Pipes, pipes everywhere! Okay. Really is like the void, yeah. Just, you're, you're stuck here and you can't go anywhere else. Ah, God, chill. Pipes are the best. Pipes! Okay, have fun with that. And yeah, everyone here is going, like, just, just getting bored out of their minds. Because there's nothing to do. Okay. Well, these pipes, I do like, because it's at least visually a lot easier to see where I need to go for platforming stuff, you know? It's a way, way easier to tell where I'm going and what I'm supposed to do when it's these pipes. I know I said that as I fell, but that wasn't a pipe problem, that was a, a higher wall problem. Alright, um, I guess let's just go south like it wants us to. I don't need to explore everything right now. What are you? Cool. Some different music, got some dynamic music going on here. I mean, we've, we've done this in other areas, didn't the music change maybe it didn't change in the other areas I want to say it changed in at least one but maybe not probably just talking out of my ass and misremembering okay so nothing really to do here I guess I could have gotten up there from here so that was the point of coming over here to jump up here and get here but then from here, I just can't really do much, except get to you, I guess. Red light, so shiny, so bright. Please take away my sight. Why? Because I don't want to see no more. Uh, okay. Disturbing. God. Yeah, the, seems like the people here are like effectively kind of being tortured, just being trapped here. With nothing to do? Hmm. Interesting. Not where I expected this to be going at all. Well, there's one of the things I need to hit. Locate targets in area. Okay, right there, right there. Oh, I just came from there. Huh, it's about to reach these glowing spots, right? I just came from there, damn it. Alright, well. I know how to do that path over there. Let's take this one instead. So, yeah. Alright, that gets me to you. Oh, 
I need to hit it. Yes. Cool. Yeah, and it doesn't look like we really have any botanics here or anything to uh, worry about grabbing. Obviously, we have some creatures to defeat, but... Botanics, at least, it doesn't seem like we really have to worry about for the moment. I think I... I think I do have to go all the way back over here and do all of this stuff again. Luckily, it wasn't too bad. We just jump up here, then jump down here. This was definitely way more roundabout than the previous one was. The previous one was pretty well signposted, but this one you gotta do a little bit more. Um... Uh, that'll work. There you go. Ba -bum -bum -bim -bum. Alright. Done with that. So, yeah, now we just have one left. And I think I get up to this one by going over here. And doing all of this. Yep. Okay. Yeah, everything makes a lot of sense and is very clear to me in this area with these pipes. It is just a lot easier visually to see what's going on. Because you can kind of see, you know, like, you can clearly see just looking at something if this pipe is below this other pipe and things like that because of how they intersect with each other. Oh my god. Get him, Schneider. Jeez. Alright, what do we got? Okay. I did a good? I believe I did a good. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I mean, I know I did a good, but I'm guessing it wants me to go this way. What? Ew! Get off of me! Oh my god, it was trying to head crab me. Did you see that, Schneider? Don't let it head crab me, please. Okay, over here. That's where another one of these are, but what's up here? Because there is another path. Uh, ooh, okay. You know what? Let's just let's just stick to where the path wants us to actually go for the moment, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're glowing spots all over the place. Yep. We got some work to do, we do. Okay. Interesting. Can't really do anything with that. And that, it looks like I need to go down there before I can do anything with it. Bye-bye. Oh my god. Schneider's great. I mean, you're over-leveled, so that's- that's why. Jeez. Oh, hi. There we go. Just took a second to aim that all together. Beautiful, that one is done. Now, up here. Bye bye. Okay, there's clearly stuff going on over there. What is this? This is where one of them was. Oh. Okay, what is this? I think I'm gonna make this work. Maybe. No, it doesn't bounce enough times that way. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna work either. Uh. Yeah, that doesn't really do it either. I don't think so, because it's just gonna bounce down that way. I mean, that maybe? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I just hit it there and then bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay. It's a little bit dark over there, so it's kind of hard for me to tell exactly uh, what was going on with the wall there, but we did it. Uh, huh? I mean, I can't 
shoot over there. Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah, I see what's going on. Okay. I thought that's what was happening. Hmm. Do I need to shoot it from over here? To make it, like, go in there, possibly? Because right now it's just going to go that way. So I was thinking if there was a way I could shoot it from over here that had it bounce up there, I could at least get back to the button and hit it to lower those two. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, because I was sitting here, I'm like, I need a better shot to hit it with. Will this potentially work? Yes, it will. Okay, so that's what we need. I just need to angle it oddly. Oh, I tripped off the button. Okay. Oh, it didn't go the right way though. So I still needed it to be at a good angle. Hmm. Let's try... Can it be like that? There we go. Whew. Okay, yeah, that was a lot. That was a whole lot of bouncing. Alright, but we made it. Hi. Okay, so... Oh, I see the problem. Interesting. Uh... Uh... No, it's not gonna quite work. That went the complete opposite direction I wanted it to. I was thinking it was gonna bounce off of this wall and go up there. But no. Yeah, it just kinda goes through it. Hmm. And obviously, I don't think I can get over here and then do that fast enough. So, clearly something needs to happen here. I mean, maybe that? Hmm. I can optimize that a little bit. Yeah, the main problem is getting back over to where I was fast enough. Because, yeah, once I'm up here, it's, it's a problem. And it's not gonna work. And it just doesn't bounce the way I want it to sometimes. Oh, that works. Okay, wait, that works. Got it. There we go. Alright. Now that barrier's down. I got more of you to beat up. Cool. Oh, I should have done that. I didn't know there was going to be more right here. Are you making a... Sh what are you doing? That's not fun. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, this thing's fire now. Kablamzo! Oh my god. There's, there was a lot of shit happening there. I broke it. I don't even actually know how I broke it. <laughs> A lot was happening real fast. I think it was because it was trying to do... It was trying to give a buff to one of its friends, and I hit it then. So... Ooh, okay. Do I have a time on this? What's my time look like on this? Main issue with this is getting it to hit where I want it to. Mm. That one's the problem. That doesn't quite work. Actually, that does work. Okay, so this one's the easiest. So, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do this one first. That didn't work? What? 
There we go. And then, bang. There we go. Got it. Beautiful. Hi. Ugh, enough already. <laughs> Schneider is done. Schneider is done playing with me. God, that sword you got is crazy. Inspect the trial building in River Delta. Alright, so this is the trial building. Does that mean more of those low level virus thingies? Fine with those, just keep them coming. Bye. <laughs> no, really, it would be troublesome if they threw high level enemies at us now. It's better that way. Thank you, Schneider, for understanding. Hi. Uh, it's a new kind of virus, I guess? Yeah, so. Okay, broke you. There we go, broke it. So, yeah, what exactly is happening here? Because I can break you, but doesn't really accomplish too much. I can't really do things to you either. Yeah, hmm. Okay, wait, 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 what just... God, it happened so quickly I couldn't pick up on what was actually going on. What is happening there when that goes... When it... They just get all together and then kind of blow up. Antivirus break? How did you break it? When exactly were you hitting it? Because, yeah, I can break it when it does that. Um, but it doesn't really do too much. Yeah, I guess I can kill it when it's on its way back. Huh. Then they just throw more out. Well, I mean, that's some damage. Ah, there we go. We knocked them into each other. That's what was happening. Okay, now I get it. Now I see. It was hard to, to see what was going on because everything was happening so fast before. But now I get it. Um, and I think, it, I think they specifically have to have like this. And I hit them into it. Yeah. Because their, their shields like knock into each other and it says neutralize. Weird. Can't exactly tell when it wants from me. Like, I, it's so weird because I know what I, I know how to do it, but I'm like, how do I consistently make that happen? Aha, there we go. Okay, see, so it kind of went back to the, to the main one there. It's weird. So yeah, like, I break it when it's, when it's one of the tiny ones separate from the one that's giving it the buff. And then I did something to it that sent it back at the thing and broke its own shield. God, it's it's difficult to parse what exactly is going on there and dissect everything, but I'm it might just be because it's very late right now and I'm, my, my, my brain is kaput. Wait, 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 that thing is level 60? As I jinxed it. You stay under guard, Lee. I'll try to knock it down as fast as possible. Okay. Ooh, don't hit me, please. Ah! Ooh, it hurts. Whoop. No. Die, please. I'm just kind of staying, keeping my distance and just trying to snipe the thing. Uh oh, what's it doing? I'm just shooting projectiles from over here. I'll shoot from over here, Schneider. There you go, make up the killing. Bang, 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 bang. 
got its little shield thing back. Maybe I should actually get in there. Escape roll. It's so funny that you are rolling the dice. So if I walk up on it, it just kind of pops its head off and runs away. Interesting. What are you actually doing, Schneider? You're just dodging a bunch? There we go. Okay, so you wait for it to roll a certain number, and then you can do big damage to it. Okay. Mein Gut. At least we got out of that, that out of the way. Let's go on. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a definitely, definitely a lot. Boom, boom. But yeah, I'm staying up pretty late to record this tonight, so... <laughs> my brain's all over the place. Yep, can't see anything. Nobody mind turning on the light. Thank you. Uh, it's just a room. Looks like a lobby of sorts. It's strangely familiar, but I can't quite pinpoint it. This is weird. It's very weird. Why? I don't know. Something just feels weird. Probably about time for me to log out. Huh. Looks like we spent enough time in the room. What exactly was the point of all this? Really don't get this place. Let's go. Back to the River Delta? Hmm. Interesting. Don't like the looks of this place. Back we go. Yeah, those enemies were super weird. Super, super weird. I think... So, we do we do just need to go turn the quest in now, right? Yeah, report back to the quest hub. Okay, so... Let's go back over here. And report back. Oh, I suppose your hands in the quest at the hologram portal again? Hi. Thank you for fulfilling your, your objective. Please return to your room and rest for the day. Expect your next mission soon. Well, that was fast. Yeah, maybe this is like... Not finished content? Yeah. What? How? It's gotta be the laziest quest writing I've ever seen. Did I get this right? We're supposed to return to our rooms? Did they seriously assign rooms to all the players here? What is this, some kind of prison? This is stupid. You know what? I'll just log off right now. I'll look up how to get out of this place. Anyway, thanks for playing with me, Leah. See you soon. Bye. Yup. Yup. As I... Yup. Okay. But they're stuck here. <laughs> They're super stuck here. They can't- they can't even log out of the game. What? Am I still in the game? This can't be right. Again? Is the system broken? I'll just remove the- Uh-oh, you removed the ethernet and it's still logging you in. Uh-oh. I- I can't remove the cross gear. Oh, okay, never mind. You're talking about that. What's going on here? Am I stuck in the game now, or what? Wait! Hey, you too. What is with this place? Add the sesame season with pepper and oregano. <laughs> so good. Hey, are you listening to me? Add lemon juice, add the pineapple, stir-fry for 20 minutes. <laughs> the heck is wrong with you? What's up, man? You, what is it with this place? Sorry, I don't know. Can't you log out either? Nope, none of us can. I imagine that's why they're sitting there talking about food. Like, and why this character's running around on the pipes. They're bored because they're just stuck here. And they miss the taste of food, so they're sitting there talking about food. They're all trying to relive their human experiences that they can't get anymore because they're just stuck in the game. What? We're all stuck here. You must be joking. Hey, Metal Face, talk to me. Wait. Damn it, this can't be real. No, don't attack them. Oh. Damn it all! And that's what happened to me earlier. When I tried to attack one of them, we got hit by that orbital laser. I thought the enemy did that. I just died and respawned, didn't I? Well, at least we won't die in real life when we die in game. That's something. You remember that strange feeling I mentioned before? Figured it out. I can't remember things. 
I can't remember what is outside of the game. Oh. Is it the same for you? Let's see. Things are just very blurry right now. Do you think our memories will return? Did, did it already happen for you? That is good to know. There's got to be a way out of this. There just has to be. Let's return to our rooms, okay? Maybe there's a way to properly rest in there, however that works. Yeah, do I understand this correctly? All the avatars in this area cannot log out? Why? Sorry, I do not know. This is all extremely bizarre. I looked into a- I looked a bit into this place. Leo, something to matter? Just go ahead, I'll tell you later. Okay. I think I'm gonna want to stop here, and I'm gonna want to read some stuff, because one thing I want to look into is the monster fibula here for, uh, those things I just fought. Because, uh, yeah, I'm kind of interested in what the deal is with them. Uh, and how I'm meant to, like, fight them normally, basically. Also, these things. Um... Honestly, at this point, it's gonna be hard to keep up with everything that in the bestiary, since it doesn't actually tell me what stuff I have and haven't looked at. I wish it had that. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't. But I'll look at interesting things, and yeah, we're gonna do some light reading for the rest of this episode, so... Small pillars are used to attack a big pillar. Usually a group of them must be defeated to create a chain reaction that will hurt its bigger companion. To defend themselves, they will jump on their attacker, leaving symbols on the ground that will summon elemental attacks. Pillar is used as the main foe to fight during the Autumn's Fall Raid. Attacking it directly is not possible. Instead, the smaller baby pillars have to be attacked to reduce its HP. However, the more HP it loses, the more fierce it will become using the element it was damaged with to conjure strong elemental attacks. These are only telegraphed by symbols on the ground. So where are those things I just fought? Um... I don't see them listed here. And I don't think they were organic. I don't think they were organic at all. Abstract? Okay, these things. They're listed in abstract. Yeah, or no, I I thought the I thought those things were mechanical, but no, they're abstract. So neutral virus. Strange being that roams the lands of Vermilion Wasteland. It randomly jumps on prey and attacks them multiple times. Luckily their defense is rather low and they can be disposed of quickly with any attack. Oh, I gotta defeat more defeat more to understand what was going on there. Okay. Hmm. Um, maybe that's what was happening? I wasn't paying attention. I, I was noticing the fact that they were buffing their friends. That might have been it. I was noticing the fact that they were buffing their friends with different elements. But, um, yeah, they actually had elements associated with them that I probably had to... I don't know, because there was some weirdness where I could have sworn I had to, like, knock the enemy into them or do something, but I might have just gotten the wrong idea because of all the chaos that was going on in some of those fights. But we'll have time to learn, I suppose. But yeah, I had a hard time figuring that out. Just doing that. Cool. Alrighty. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.